Hi, Karen Burchill here. In front of me I have my tags that I am, have created as part of my Legacy Art Journal Challenge that is going on um, with lots of information in the Art Journaling for Beginners group on Facebook. And I have chosen to use just manila tags, very small, um, and I covered one side with some of my jelly prints in preparation, just attached it to the tag with Mod Podge. Then I would put a quote on the one side that tied into the, the prompt that Jen gave us and put the answer on the other side after creating a background. And I discovered very quickly that there's not a lot of room on these tags, which was my whole purpose of doing the tags, but sometimes it didn't tell the whole story and I wanted to have a place to collect all the rest of the other information. For instance, you know, here this one was on, do you have a nickname? What is it? So my nickname is Katie, but there's no place on here to tell me, to tell anybody how I got the nickname, who calls me by that name, if there's any other nicknames. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I can do the tags and be very brief and succinct, and then I will just type up the rest, kind of regular journaling on the computer. And so that was kind of bugging me as I was going along. More and more things were showing up that it was being very, very challenging to get the information here. So I was watching YouTube and I was watching Packer Die, who, if you haven't checked out her, her YouTube channel, please do. She's an amazing artist, collage artist, and she was doing something, um, a collaboration with Dee Dee, D-E-D-E, -D -E, who has a Ustream and a YouTube channel under that name called File Folder Fodder. And Dee Dee shows us how to fold a file folder, this is just a regular letter size file folder, in this way. I'm just going to zoom out so you can get a better look of this. You know, four inches down, one inch down here, fold it so you kind of get this W. And Dee Dee also shows. Um, in a past project, how she combined all 12 of these folders together. So you would have all the folders were together and she bought, made a book cover for it with elastics and stuff and I will have to figure out how to use that. And I like the idea, while they were using it to um, collect um, prints and stencils and stamps and stickers and everything based on a theme, so every month or every week or what month she would give a th new theme and then as time went on you would sort out the different things and she had different categories and if you're looking for a way of organizing all your materials for collaging art journaling or any other for scrapbooking anything it's really interesting I wasn't interested in the organizing I was interested in the folder because I thought, wouldn't that be cool if I could have a theme and then each of the prompts, the different prompts that relate to the theme. So I was thinking about my my tags here and the first four prompts all had to do with my name different information about my name. Now I was only doing the prompt. I was not doing the lists of 10, although I may reconsider that and maybe including this should I go with this. So all the prompts, what's in the name, that which we call a rose by any other means would smell it. And I thought, okay, if this was all about my name, I could have basically had collaged this done what I did on the tag on this each panel and then I could just put other information inside the pockets and then the front cover would be what's in a name or some some inspirational quote I could put other inspirational quotes if I find them on the back although I'm not worried about the back so I thought okay I'm not going to redo what I have done here already because 
I tried really hard to get it on there. So I thought, okay, at some point in time, Jen is going to ask us about our siblings. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try this out in siblings because we don't know all the prompts and, or, or categories, but I guess we can predict. So I folded it and pulled it and I collaged using just my recycled mopping up my messes from inks and dyes and paints all the blues because I have five brothers and then I painted this with just plain old acrylic paint to to go together I might divide these up yet I'm not sure and then I had put all my brothers names and their birth dates and I did it by I didn't put them in the order that they were born because I have one brother who had passed away when I was um, young and I wanted him on here because he's part of my past and there are memories and I hadn't wasn't sure so I thought I'm not going to put them in order and I, I dealt with him and I'll show you how I dealt with that brother so I put the brothers in there and I think so every brother so my brother Andrew things about him things about his marriage things about um, childhood memories that I have I will either write on a tag or an index card or I have these that I've cut out from from my good friend Yvonne um, little bits of information. I might, I plan on putting something here that's, that really refers to Andrew. Um, my brother Kenneth, his name is Kenny. I, he's always been Kenny as we were growing up. Um, Ken as an adult, so that might be up here. My brother Alan is a photographer and he photograph takes pictures of butterflies. He's known as the Butterfly Whisperer, so I'll put a butterfly here. And my brother, this brother's a banker, so they'll probably have something to do with that. Then any of the information about their marriages, their children, I can just add it into their folders. And if you fold it the correct way, according to Dee, Dee all the information will stay in there. So, and then she has this cool way of sorting them and keeping it with elastics and stuff that you'll have to look into her thing. So I decided I'm going to going to do this. I did a cover page, you know, uh, using a quote because I love art journaling with quotes, inspirational quotes, and it says, our lives like branches of a tree may grow in different directions, yet our roots remain as one. And so I did different techniques, some some collaging here, there are some ink tents blocks, so I put that on there, did the borderline. Then I have each of the pockets. Now this is not complete, I need to do more. Now for my brother that had passed away, and I may do later something a lot about the family members that I've lost, um, kind of a, a, in memoriam, but I wanted my brother Terry on here so I made a t special tag for him so he doesn't have a pocket although he may at some other point in time he has a very special tag which I'm going to just adhere in this pocket about my brothers because this is where he belongs he is a brother he is a part of my thing and you know, I made it a little bit more special than, than theirs. And then on the other side, I have an angel and the date that he had passed away, that he, that he died. Um, I do want to have a pocket at some point in time to have my memories of him. Um, so I will deal with that in, in a bigger way at some point and time. So that is kind of my plan. So I'm, I'm kind of liking this. Um, each one, you know, the next one might be um, 
this one was going, I figured the next one I would do, because I know some of the prompts are about your mother, um, your mother and father, and your maternal grandparents and paternal grandparents. And I thought, okay, I would do, I would have all of them together, or just one for my parents, specifically, and their stories. And then I can add in, even if I have a, you know, we, we get together at Christmas or we have a special get together or summer vacation or whatever, even as adults, and I can add it to this. And then all of these would be kept together. So it would be a collection of the past as well as a place to put new memories, whether, you know, written on index cards, the tags with or without the jelly prints on them, um, playing cards, anything that's they will go in the pockets so I hope you um, might consider this idea I'm, I'm really quite excited about it I um, will uh, do some work about it the, the one of the big problems right now is that we don't know what our prompts are so it's kind of hard to to guess and figure out what our envelope should be. So if, until I get that all straightened out, I am going to make more of these. I am going to gesso the front, this part up to the tab, and this part in preparation for whatever process, because I thought even if I collage like I did here with the paper napkins, um, or putting jelly prints on there if I, that's the way I want to go. I think adding that layer of gesso will make it a little sturdier. It got very, very wet and, and kind of warped. And I'm thinking if I, if I put the gesso, that may prevent it from happening. So um, thank you for watching. Ask any questions. Leave a comment below. I... If you haven't tried the Legacy Channel or Leg Legacy Art Journal Challenge, um, check out, you know, join, um, Google that, and you'll get to Jen's blog where she um, will email you the, the prompts. Um, and if you're on the Art Journaling for Beginners, you'll be seeing a lot of these on being shown by all the various artists that, that are on there. And there's some amazing things and works of art that are coming. Um, I have to admit that it, initially I was not, ex not overly excited about it. Now I'm getting more and more excited. I'm, I'm using this as an opportunity to start those conversations with my mom and with my dad and aunts and uncles and, and um, brothers and using it as as a motivator to collect all that those bits and pieces of information all in one place which um, will be a legacy to um, my nieces the nephews or or my brothers um, down the line it'd be something that we can share and, and go through and and reminisce um, you know because family Family is everything. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel and you won't miss any of the videos showing the different themes that I do as, as I'm working on it. Um, thanks. Bye for now.